this is my new crock pot. It's a multi-cooker, so it's a pressure cooker, a steamer, a slow cooker, and it sautés. I'm so excited. I love a good slow cooker, but this one does so much. Oh, look, it says it makes roast chilies and more family meals fast. Got my little cookbook here. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it because I just like to make new recipes. So we'll see. Oh, this is good information. It says like meat, stews, beans, chilies, pressure cooker, if the lid is required, steam valve, position on release or seal. So I'll definitely keep this around. Owner's manual. I just love black and stainless steel. Have it all over my kitchen, so wanted to make sure I got it for my slow cooker also. Notice it says lid must be in locked position as shown below when pressure cooking. So I just unboxed my pressure cooker and I am making red beans and rice today. So this should be fun. Let me get this bad boy cleaned up and then we'll go right into the cooking video. Thank you so much for watching me have so much fun unboxing my new pressure cooker slash slow cooker slash steamer and sauteer. Cooking video coming up. So here are some more items that came with the slow cooker. This little spoon. part of it. This is the inside. And this is the lid. This is how the inside of the lid looks. Hey guys, so today we are making Creole red beans and rice. I have my sausage right here. This is a Creole sausage. Uh, it was a fresh sausage. I actually baked it. And whenever I bake it, there's always some juice left over from the sausage. So I'm gonna add that to the red beans. Um, it's probably, it's about a half a cup of uh, the juice from the sausage. And I have my green bell peppers and my yellow onions right here. I have large dice on these items. My red beans are right here. I have small red beans and I have light 
light red kidney beans. Whenever I make beans, for some reason, I like to mix it. I don't like it to be all of a one type of bean. Even when I do chili, I do pinto and red bean. So that's just me. You don't have to use two different type of beans if you don't want, but I did. Um, so I used one full bag of the light red beans. It's a 16 ounce bag. And then I used half of a bag of the small red beans. To have them kind of soaking, I'm going to pour this water off and then uh, add the beans to my new crock pot. And we're gonna get everything started. So, with the sausage, you can be fancy with this if you want. It's up to you. And when I say fancy, I mean fancy with the dice. Um, so if you want, you can do something like diagonal. Or you can just do plain, just regular cut of the sausage. It's, it's up to you. Um, I'm gonna do diagonal. And with fresh sausage, if you end up getting fresh sausage, uh, you, you should let it cool before you cut it. If not, it's gonna kind of come apart on you. I would actually put it in the refrigerator. So I bake these and then I just let it uh, sit on the counter until it kind of got cool. And now I'm cutting them but I love fresh sausage. I think it's so much better than the smoked sausage. I guess all the flavors are still there or something. Like I said, this is Creole, a Creole sausage from a meat market. You go to your local meat markets, um, the butcher, like meat market, they have a pretty good selection of sausages to choose from. And they are so flavorful. Like I said, they are much better than the uh, packaged sauce, smoked sausage that you see in the regular grocery stores. And I actually learned about going to the meat market from my mom. She used to go when I was younger and they had also, they had a hot foods area. And when you walk in, it just smelled amazing. They would have uh, like red beans cooking, gumbo, and then you had all these uh, sausage to choose from in the meat uh, area, the meat market area. It's just amazing. I love meat markets. I love butcher shops. Um, all right, let's get started. Red beans. Pour out this water. And we're gonna move over to the other side of the counter. So that's where I have the crock pot set up. Okay, here we go. So I have it set up. Don't mind that noise, I'm uh, about to bake something in the oven. Here are my beans, they're going in. Like I said, I did rinse the beans. And you have to sort your beans. I'm not sure if you've ever sorted beans before, but you just look through the beans to make sure there are no rocks and no rotten beans. Um, you make sure you do that because in the past, I've seen beans uh, 
with rocks in them. <laughs> so you want to make sure you don't have that problem. Uh, so my beans are in. Let me see. They are about right here. So that is almost at the one third mark. Not quite, but almost. So the beans are a little below the one third mark and we're gonna add water up to the half mark. Okay, so I added water a little over the one half mark. Now I'm gonna add my onions. Bell peppers. And remember, you can always add more water to your beans, but you don't wanna start off with too much because it might overflow. Remember your beans will expand with the water. Whenever it starts getting hot and cooking, they will get bigger. The water will rise up a little bit. So you wanna make sure you are not too high with the water. So since I put my water a little over the half mark, it's still under the max. So I'm still good there. <laughs> now I'm gonna add my sausage to everything. So this is just two of the fresh Creole sausage. And here is the juice from the sausage, the fresh, fresh sausage. It always makes the juice when you bake it and you want to keep that juice. You want all of it. It is so tasty. It makes whatever you're making taste a hundred times better. So that is going in here. Like I said, that's about a half of a cup. If you don't have fresh sausage, you can use smoked sausage if you like. And um, just add a tablespoon of chicken bouillon and it, it'll give it some good flavor. So now here comes the seasonings. I have my granulated garlic. I'm gonna put seasoning you want to use. Remember you can always add more seasoning later if you feel like it's not seasoned enough for you. Or you can add more garlic later. I always forget my most important ingredient. Can't make beans without hot sauce. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
have to have your bay leaves. Ah, can you see it? Bay leaves. I'm gonna put two in here. Maybe I'll go with three. They're kind of small. So now we're ready to go. Let's see. Notice lid must be locked, must be in locked position as shown below when pressure cooking. All right guys, so for my pressure cooker, I cooked my beans on beans and chili and it automatically had a high setting. And then I cooked it for 30 minutes. Um, on the pressure cooker setting for the beans and chili, 30 minutes, it was done. It was perfect. Beans were not hard, but it was in the lock position. When it's in the lock position, when you're doing pressure cooker on this machine, you have to lift this little valve up to release the pressure. It will not open unless you lift that valve up to release the pressure. Um, it takes probably four minutes, but you'll know when it's done because this bobber valve will make a noise. And once it makes that noise, then you know you can turn it to the unlock position and then open it. Uh, my beans look perfect, guys. Let me see if I can get in there for you. I think I'm in love. This pressure cooker is gonna be my best friend. 30 minutes, guys. It took 30 minutes. And I actually did not come over to the pot until 30 minutes after it said it was done. Then that's when I released the pressure, but uh, wow. If you don't have one, you should probably run out and get one. This is amazing. I Beans in a slow cooker would normally take about six to seven hours, maybe more. Could be eight hours. I haven't, it, I haven't done it in so long. I usually just uh, put it on the stove top and it takes about three hours. But uh, 30 minutes is awesome. Run out and get one. <laughs>